Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Smelly. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, definitely go ahead and subscribe if you guys love fashion, content, weekly vlogs, all the good stuff. And if you guys are already subscribed, make sure your post notifications are turned on so you don't miss any videos of mine. Today I'm filming a collective haul. Got some stuff from Misguided, Nasty Gal, and my first time buying from ASOS. There's actually so much to show you guys, so I'm probably not going to talk as much as I do in my try-on hauls because I'm going to try on every single thing for you. And if I've already taken a photo, of it. I'm going to try to post it on the screen so that you can see how I've already styled it or you can just go over to my Instagram and go ahead and follow me while you're there. It is so underscore gnarly without the G. I'm definitely trying to ramp up the fashion content over there. I'm going to be posting so many more reels so definitely go give me a follow there and let's get started with this haul. Starting with the things I got from Misguided. I'm definitely not a colorful person. You guys know this but I'm trying to add in like little pops of color here and there but definitely overall keep everything neutral and just have like the basics but I thought this would be a really cute top for like a Valentine's Day moment. Speaking of Valentine's Day and Valentine's Day, I saw this on Acquired Styles Instagram and I was like, what the hell? Where is that from? And I was actually shocked that it was from this guy and like so affordable because I thought it was going to be from somewhere really, really expensive because the quality just looks so good and it really is. It's super thick. Unfortunately, it's already sold out, which is so annoying, but I did get a lot of other hand knit textured items from Misguided and they're definitely more neutral style. Got this olive green cropped sweater and it's again that hand knit texture. It's definitely giving me Matilda Jerf vibes and I'm so here for it. Very similar to the last one I showed you guys. This is just a little bit longer cream color with a cute little hood in the back. This top is really different for me and I was definitely on the fence of buying it but I thought it would be cool to just like style and just go out of my comfort zone a little bit. It has these cute little frilly sleeves and I was thinking about maybe like layering it with a white long sleeve shirt. This pullover is so cute. It reminds me of these like Henley styled hand knit pullovers that I would use to thrift all the time in high school, but this is definitely like a thinner texture and it has this giant hood in the back and I love this olive green color. And by the way, everything that I've tried on has been a size 10 I want to say but this one was sold out in a size 10 so I got the size up I think I want to say it's a size 12 size 14 or something um and I like it because it's a little bit oversized and I love that like slouchy look next I have this cropped hand knit flowy kind of shirt look at these sleeves they're insane but in the best way possible this top kind of reminded me of like a cold beach day I feel like it would be really cute to just like pull over and wear some sweats and go to the beach not that I'm going to the beach anytime soon unfortunately but like in my head I envisioned that for this top um, but I love that it has a little bit of a pop of color while still staying mostly neutral. The last thing I got from Misguided is this long lined puffer and I love this color it's like a cream color. I literally just used it for the first time today because it is like sleeting slash snowing slash like really icy out here in Austin. It also has a hood in the back and this kind of reminds me of that scene with Hilary Duff from the Lizzie McGuire movie when they were dressing her up like on the catwalk and she came out with like that igloo kind of outfit. I don't know why this is definitely giving me igloo vibes. Now let's get into the stuff I got from Nasty Gal. Starting off with this really cool like faux leather blazer. Ryan and I are actually doing a little staycation in Austin this weekend. We have some like nice dinner so I think this would be a really fun thing to style for that. I saw this on their site and I was actually surprised that it was pretty affordable because it just looks like a designer piece in a way I don't even know like it's just so cool and the best part about it is that it's actually higher quality than I even imagined it has this like cowhide texture on the inside I don't even know how I would really describe that but I love these cute little pockets and they had this nude color that I had sitting in my cart for like about a week and then the nude color sold out so I had to settle on the gray but I think it's just so cool again I had a little vision of myself in this in a cabin in the mountains near a fire just trying to make best that for me, you know? This was that piece that made me go in and shop on Nasty L. I was kind of like looking for a long lined jacket, but like with this teddy coat texture kind of thing. And of course, Nasty L had it at an affordable price. So then I just went down a rabbit hole searching through their whole site. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty long, which that's what I was looking for. So it's perfect. This is what the inside looks like. And I didn't even realize that there was a pocket here. So that's kind of cool. Um, but I will say that the wrists are pretty tight. Obviously I can't unbutton it and just like maybe like roll it up 
would that look cute? Yeah, that kind of actually does look cute. So I'll probably do that. This sweater basically screams my name. I love anything like that matcha color green. And I'm so pleasantly surprised with the quality of these sweaters from Nasty Gal. I guess I didn't think they would be bad quality, but I bought a sweater on Black Friday from Nordstrom and it was a really nice brand and I was expecting it to be pretty thick like this one is. And it was so thin and just like flimsy. So comparing it to that, I'm just really impressed with the quality. Will I ever get over this teddy furry texture? I don't even know, but it all started with those furry Birkenstocks that I love so much. And honestly might be one of my best fashion purchases in a while because I wear them every single day. But I saw this and I was like, okay, literally have to get that. It is so cute. These days when I'm styling jackets for like photos or anything, I love the look of like your hair being stuck in there. I don't know why. Another current obsession of mine are sweater vests. I think I have way too many to count and I don't know why, but I keep buying more and I need to like chill. But I snagged this one. It's kind of like a muted purple color. Um, and I would definitely wear like a long sleeve under this. Then I got this brown sweater vest and the quality is definitely a little bit thicker. So that's kind of interesting. And then it has these like, tie things at the bottom. I don't think I even like realized that those were there. So I'm going to have to figure out what those are for. I feel like this one could definitely be worn alone, but I do love a layered look. Up next, we have this neutral sweater. And again, the quality is just unbeatable. And I love this neckline because it's not a mock. Is this a mock neck? I don't even know, but it's like kind of halfway there between a mock neck and just like a regular sweater. I think it looks so classy and definitely perfect for a work from home outfit. Then I got this scarf. I feel like chunky scarves are popping off right now. And I love the look in photos. And plus they actually help so much in the cold, like actually wrapping your face in it. It's just so comfy and cute. And I just love this color. I know that there's like a brown one from Urban Outfitters that is super popular right now. So I was definitely inspired by that. This is another perfect work from home outfit. I mean, it's definitely like more loungy and more comfy, but especially if you're just doing Zoom, I think this brown pullover is just a little bit more classy than maybe our everyday sweatshirt. Um, and then it has these like balloon sleeves, which I love. I feel like they are my weakness. And just like pairing it with some gold jewelry would be really cute. Um, and then it actually comes in a set. So we have these joggers and the whole set is really, really comfortable. That was everything from Nasty Gal. So let's start with my ASOS order. So the first top is this swirl sweater, which has a really unique pattern on it. And I feel like I would normally not go for this just because I try to stay away from patterns. But since this is kind of like a muted color, I thought it'd be cute for the winter time just to switch things up a little bit. I got two scarves from ASOS and this one is just like a nude scarf. It's definitely not as chunky as the one that I got from Nasty Gal. Um, but it's cute. This might be my favorite scarf and I know it doesn't like match the top so just imagine it was like a white top but I love it so much because it has this like cute little logo it says weekend collective. I also had the nude version of this sitting in my cart for a week like it happened to the little pullover that I had but of course it sold out so I had to get the lavender one which honestly I'm not mad about. I feel like I have a lot of nude scarves anyways. I've been obsessed with the Alexander McQueen sneakers for the longest time and I saw these on ASOS and had to get them. They're basically an exact dupe for the Alexander McQueen ones and I just love like a platform white sneaker. I feel like I have so many of them but they all kind of look a little bit different. I've already worn these a couple of times and they're the wide fit and they are so comfortable and now I'm second guessing all of my shoe purchases because if I feel like I need to get like wide fit in every shoe, but I highly, highly recommend these and I'm pretty sure they were only 50 bucks. I did get another puffer. I actually got this one before I got the long lined one, but this is a little bit different because it has this like tie belt and obviously this one's a little bit shorter and it just makes me look like a marshmallow and I love it. That wraps up this collective haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you saw anything that caught your eye, the links will be in the description like always. And if you guys want to see more photos of these pieces styled, head over to my Instagram. Give me a follow over there. It is so underscore gnarly without the G and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!